I'll do that. Oh, uh, how'd you like it up there? Oh, it's a bit wet up here, the water's pouring in. I'll be right up to see you. Right. Okay. Come on in. I'll do that. This JU-52 is standing by here till the weather clears, and then it's off to Florida in America. It's going to take about 57 hours to get across the Atlantic. I hope the weather finds up, because the cockpit here is just sopping wet with the rain pouring in from many, many directions. And... Uh, if the pilot has a nice sunny trip, he might be very happy, but if it's wet, he'll end up in Florida. Very damp indeed. There we go. Mm. Right in. Now we turned up in Stornoway, and we were refueling the aeroplane, and quite an old chap came round and sort of looked at the aeroplane. Can I come in? Yes. I used <laughs> to jump out of these during the war. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a bit crowded with 19 people here in full pack, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Yeah. And you'd also have the engineer and the radio yeah. off and uh, the jump master. Of course, got the rear gunner. Yeah, up the top yeah. there used to be yes. a gun turret. Yeah. The toilet there. One bullet, now they're gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've, um, one of the people I work with has just bought three Spitfires mm -hmm. uh, from India. Mm -hmm. We fished them out of the crates and they've still got bullet holes in them. Oh. I think they've been used all around the world actually. Oh. Right, well this aeroplane has been bought by an American, it was picked up in Spain last year and we're shortly hoping to go to Orlando in Florida via Stornoway, Iceland, Greenland, Goose Bay in Canada and then working our way right down the States. Um, weather at the moment is not good enough, so I think we've postponed for about a month. <laughs>